Hello everyone, welcome to a new game. This is The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, I know nothing about it, so I'm very, 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 very excited. Very, very excited. That's all I have to say. Let's just begin. Alright guys, so, uh, I don't know what's going on because when I press here, um, all my save files say that they are empty. I have backed them up. Um, I have backed them up, uh, you know, sorry, the save files I had from, uh, season one. Uh, they are still on the same folder, and I do have a backup of them. But for some reason, the ga this game, the season two, is just not picking them up, so I don't really know what's up. Uh, but whatever, man. Let's just start the first episode. What? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. Search, find them. Ailey, yes! You will now need to choose a safe slot from season one to continue your story. Okay. Yes! Let's go. What do you think? Oh, man, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omi Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially the Lomit's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Nah, dude, you don't let a girl alone! Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? Wow, okay. <sighs> what the fuck? Lee, I'm sorry, we picked wrongly. We definitely pit pick oh, wrong. Gross. There's no way they're ready to be parents. Like they leave Clem alone in a fucking bathroom. Like this in, in this world. I am so sorry, Lee. Should have went with Kenny. Guys, piece of shit that pissed me off. Good. No one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. Oh my goodness!
you. Yeah. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. That's my gun. It's mine now. Give it back. Why should I? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. What's your name? My name? Why do you care? I... I was just wondering. Stupid. I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Already, game? Already? What the fuck? Clam. Clam, baby, take the gun. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. He wasn't a responsible adult. Fucking dumbass. But yeah, now the kid is gonna be called a whip. This was so soon, though. Where's the baby? <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's burning. It's more smoke than flame. 
At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. It's okay. I can wait. <sighs> All we do is wait. And for what? You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... Omid said that- I know what Omid said. Christ, Joel. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Wellington's a long way from here. We just need to keep moving north. We need to get to Wellington. We'll try the best we can. The voice change. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. I got you, Clem. Don't worry, baby. I got you. Isn't that part of the picture that Lee ripped off? Oh, the drawing from season one. Butterflies. Why did you let it? Oh my god. Okay, first of all, you don't have enough, nowhere near enough wood in here. Second of all, you don't have a fuel type of source. It'll never burn. It's too wet. It's still a tool. You can use like the the materials for something. Don't know why it didn't work the first time I tried though. Oof. Hide. 
Hide, girl. Clem! It's raining. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey. Is she dead? Did they kill her regardless? Get the fuck over here now! Fucker! Come out of here, girl. I'm not fucking around. Grab him. Too tall. Yeah. Oh! You are such, such a badass. Fuck yeah, Clem. This one is old. Say, Clem. 
bears, wolves, snakes, and jaguars, or panthers, or whatever. Okay, that was a bit weird. Like, she can heist, or whatever. Like, she can pull herself over, like, a fucking bar to the above her head, but she can barely climb a log. Okay. Or over a log, I should say. Is it Krista? It's okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Toys? Hmm, nothing edible. As all stars, like hey, Ellie. Wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Keep looking, huh, Sam? It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. What? What's the matter, Sam? Oh my 
god. Thank you. Look, Sam. A can. Now I just need... Hmm, something to open it with. like he tried to cut it out but that never works ever for me it's okay we're smart and he's not we're smarter than all of them Stand back, okay? Stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Oh my goodness. There I go. Fire. Still pretty sharp. Yeah. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Clem, you can use that. Mm. Clem, you cannot use that knife on for food. Oh, that's disgusting. Please don't be bad. I mean, if you're gonna use the knife. Disgusting. Seriously. Throw up. Beans. Or mushrooms, I don't know. Thank God. I guess you are pretty hungry too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. Oh, what? You gotta kill it and we're gonna cook him. Let's go, hot dog time. Are you okay, Clem? Clem, are you okay? Oh, now you're in pain, you son of a bitch. I have a feeling the dog would attack regardless if we try to feed him or not. I'm sorry, Clam. 
We gotta go take care of that. Is Krista. She should have just picked some some stuff up for a shelter the previous place. I hope this is just exhaustion. Fuck. Clem, we can't stay here. We got to go. Or is this a dream? Clem, we got to go. <laughs> Get up, honey. Come on. Like, I couldn't run. Presta, please. I think, I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I, I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Let's see it. 
Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now what... What does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Clementine? Yes. yes. You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm oh, now you're concerned? I'm not for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. I'm not sure what I was supposed Who's to do. She? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. If 
probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by with it. Please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. No chance, Clam. You gotta do it. left in here I guess if I have to I can use this for stitches oh my goodness gracious clam fuck does that handle her weight? Seriously. It's okay. It's okay. You're good, Clem. You're good. Christ.
stitches. It's getting worse. You can't reach it, right? Yeah. House meeting in five minutes. Set. Set. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. No wait, she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend, they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in shit. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Harvard would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type of... I don't know if my goal is to go upstairs. I think the little kid will find me, or find Clem, I should say. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Why? 
What will he do? Get mad at me. What does he do when he gets mad? He gets angry, and he says he's disappointed in me. And then he just loves me and wants me to be safe. That's it? Nothing else? Yeah. It's the worst. What the hell? What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. Your dad didn't care if it hurt or not. He's willing to let me die. That's not true. Has he let people die before? Well, I, I, I don't know. Not on purpose. I don't know. You can help, you know. I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Needle bandages. Needle. It's clean. You don't know if oh my god, clam I still need some bandages though. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. Let me on some time. need to have this baby. <laughs> Christ, 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 Christ. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Do we have everything, Clem? 
Let's go. I don't want to fuck around, basically. Fuck it. Maybe I will. I might explore then. Alright, Clem, let's go. This is gonna suck. I know, baby. fun part. Damn, Clam, first try. No. Just like last time. Just how Krista showed me. feeling sick. Like, if he wasn't, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I need to lie down. Jesus, I don't know what happened, I'm sorry.
Dear Lord. <laughs> ah! Should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. <sighs> Good Lord. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Good. Yeah. You know, I get it. You're pissed that we locked you up. And I'm sorry. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for, well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. 
Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away, and Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Hmm. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. Nope. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. Hell yeah. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. 
You got what you came here for. Now go. Sassy Clam is my favorite clam. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Where is Krista? Anyone teach you how to shoot? Yes. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. <clears throat> hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grabbed the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, Wait, you're the not fires. covering the boy, man while he's taking a piss? And of course the buck gets away. What are you going economy? and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. Jesus, I hate people. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. That's a terrible story. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. 
You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way, bitch. Damn it. You get your asses over here, both of you. I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it. Can't you listen to me once? Just one? about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. It's either Krista, Kenny, because we didn't really see a body. Let's see. Did you try to save Krista? Yes. Did you kill the dog? Yes. Did you accept Nick's apology? Yes. Whew. Okay, I'm with the minority. See, I thought that... 
I thought that uh, Clementine would kind of make a deal. If you tell me what happened to Krista, I'll give you water. That's what I tried to do. <sighs> Sorry for yawning, but he failed. Did you save Nick or Pete? Wow, okay, I'm with the minority here. I went with Pete. Okay, the reason why I went with Pete, like, at first I didn't understand, like, w you know, w which side was which. But I was under the impression that uh, the older guy got bit on the leg and the younger guy didn't. So that's what I based my, my decision on. I might have misunderstood the cutscene though, so yeah. Alright guys, that's it for the first episode of the second season of The Walking Dead. Um, very, very, very glad with Clem. Uh, she, she grew a lot. Um, and I particularly like that the devs gave, well, the player the choice on how Clem is. Like... Is she a bit more brutal? Is she a bit more blunt? Is she sassy? Like, what is her interpretation of, of Lee and, um, well, the actions that uh, I made Lee uh, take? Um, I really, I, I really think that um, they, they took the right direction, like the, the, the right approach in terms of player choice and and, uh, and clam. Um, a lot has happened in this episode. In fact, this episode is actually shorter uh, than what I was expecting. Uh, you know, taking into consideration how long the other episodes from season one uh, have been. Uh, I actually prefer it uh, this way. Uh, but I don't know if this is just because it's the first one, like, kind of like an intro, uh, or if, uh, is a, sh a shorter, uh, shorter episodes are just the, um, oh man, I forget, I forget the word, are, are just a normal, uh, for this, for the second season. <gasps> man, I can't stop yawning. Anyways, guys, I hope this was enjoyable. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.